Patients with limited English proficiency are not able to speak, read, write or understand English at a level that enables them to interact effectively with healthcare providers. Language barriers are known to contribute to health inequalities for patients with limited English proficiency. However, professional interpreters can raise the quality of care to approach that of patients without language barriers. They are also superior to ad hoc interpreters such as untrained bilingual staff or family members. Most health professionals have not been trained on how to work well with interpreters and underuse professional interpreters. Importantly, training health professionals has been shown to not only improve their skills in working with interpreters, but also to increase their use of professional interpreters. In the UK, the General Medical Council states that all graduate doctors must be able to communicate effectively with all patients, including those with limited English proficiency. Our paper looks in detail at how we went about designing, developing and evaluating an effective and sustainable teaching session on consulting through interpreters within our core consultation skills curriculum. One of our main guiding principles was that we use professional interpreters in the teaching to demonstrate best practice. In line with many other institutions, at our medical school, consultation skills teaching is delivered through small group role play sessions. The sessions are facilitated by GP tutors with an actor playing different patient scenarios and students taking turns to play the doctor. In developing our session, we retained this experiential learning format and recruited and trained language pairings of professional interpreters to work with each small group. For each scenario, one would play the interpreter and the other play the patient. As well as scenarios for professional face-to-face -face interpreters, we included ones with a family interpreter and a telephone interpreter, as these involve additional challenges that doctors must learn to recognise and negotiate, as well as reflecting real-life clinical practice. We also trained all our GP tutors on how to facilitate the session, and by converting a standard consultation skills session to one on consulting through interpreters, we overcame the problem of how to find space within the core curriculum. Our evaluation was conducted over two years in two ways. Firstly, 243 students completed a questionnaire representing an 89% response rate. Results showed that students' self-rated confidence in working through interpreters increased significantly, as did their knowledge. Secondly, we conducted two annual feedback groups for the GP tutors facilitating the sessions. The tutors were universally agreed that the sessions were both important and useful, and they felt that the use of professional interpreters increased the students' engagement with the session. Importantly, they also said that the training that they had received had had a positive effect on their own clinical practice in working with interpreters. For others wishing to develop such teaching, we would like to recommend that they build the format of their session around their own standard consultation skills teaching to aid integration, and that they invest in training their tutors to aid the sustainability of the session. Finally, consider using professional interpreters as a teaching resource to demonstrate best practice in improving health outcomes for patients with language barriers.